hello you guys welcome back to another video um you know what we're not going to explain things we're just going to jump right into it <laughs> but before we jump right into things uh please subscribe it really does help me out i'd really appreciate it um i make genshin content all types of content uh i think you guys would enjoy it so please subscribe if you want to see more of this so yeah let's just get into things going over here oh yeah um before we continue to uh i would like to say there are not going to be any videos on saturday and sunday i try to post every day but sometimes i just don't feel like it uh because it just like i'm not done with editing or whatever but there's going to be no videos this weekend for sure because i'm going to be busy this weekend <laughs> so yeah uh you guys get to enjoy these videos but nothing on saturday or sunday i'll hate them I knew you were crazy, but I didn't know you were crazy enough to actually show up. <laughs> it was I who demanded that these negotiations take place. That is true. I was more worried that you might go back on your promise. <laughs> but to your credit, it appears that you're sticking to your word. This is turning into quite an occasion. I also brought some backup. I assume you don't mind. Yeah. Backup. Aren't you the brat from the restaurant the other who day? Who are you calling a brat? To support this lunatic because he helped you out? Fine, your funeral. I'm not going to mince my words. Once we're done with you, I think it's gonna be, be your funeral. Fish food. Get him, boy. Fish food. <laughs> we actually in a fight? Here they come. Uh, good luck, you two. Damn, Paimon really said I'm out of here. Solidify. I love how, like, I always forget how short Kaching's uh, cooldown is, and it's just fantastic. Maybe I'll just do some jogging. Easy. Uh, uh, academia scum! Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Boss! Finally! Boss? Did you use it? Great! Now we can. Uh -huh. Wait, did he use uh, the no the divine knowledge can? I think. <laughs> What's happening? Boss! Boss! Why do you think that was a good idea? We have to cut his Akasha connection, now! Oh, he's so hot. That's very interesting. Target acquired! Arrest him! Uh -huh. Huh? Do not impede our work. Is that understood, all Haytham? Of course. I was only trying to help. Take him away! Ooh! Ooh! How sly. Yeah. It looks like he used the divine knowledge capsule. You mean the divine knowledge capsule did that to him? Well, I think it's pretty obvious that probably a mortal, like someone without a vision and probably mortal, couldn't handle it. Oh yeah. You mean how some researchers go insane, go insane after yep. getting knowledge from Ermansoul? Mm hmm I've heard of numerous incidents of researchers in Satyavada life going insane. The state that man is now in suggests that this is a similar situation. Probably, yeah. This divine knowledge capsule does appear to be linked to the gods, but beyond that, it doesn't seem anything like the rumors suggest. Possessing it doesn't grant you divine wisdom or power. Just Did you hear what he said? World 
forget me. What could that possibly mean? I've heard it before. Yeah. If the Matra took him away, then that You're not going to tell him? Okay. The divine knowledge capsule back too. That's what you think, uh, Paimon. Still, Paimon didn't expect the divine knowledge capsule would be so dangerous. Imagine if we tried to open it. Oh, who knows what would have happened to us? I think we would have been fine, maybe. As things stand, there is no reason for me to remain in Port Ormos. I believe our collaboration has also reached so, its end. So you were just going to take this capsule for yourself and not tell us about it. Oh, not that we know. I'm so busy trying to find the Divine Knowledge Capsule that Paimon forgot to ask you something. Since you're a member of the Academia, yeah. do you have any idea how we can go about meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali? Truthfully, I don't. Lesser Lord Kusanali appears to exist outside of Sumeru's entire administration. Hmm. Most of the time, you wouldn't know she exists at all. So even the Acad... Hmm. Moreover, since the Academia possesses the Akasha, a symbol of our deity's wisdom, scholars have no reason to desire to make contact with the deity herself anyway. Uh, that seems weird. Everything about Lesser Lord Kusanali is such a mystery! I'm heading back to the Academia. How about you two? Probably searching for more information. Uh, Oh yeah, I guess we do have to- I forgot maybe about that. We We've done so here. much, I forgot about the festival. Mm-hmm. You have a point. Then we'll part ways here, I'll hate them. Until we meet again. Damn, he really is not gonna tell us that he stole it. I guess he can't really, like, 100% trust us, but... Hmm. No. Do I deal with this thing first? Or should I produce the report that the higher-ups require? Hmm. Interesting. A man of mystery. Act too soon. Paimon thinks she must be around the Grand Bazaar since she showed us around there last time. That'd be so sad if we missed the festival. I'm going to be so sad. And I'm going to feel bad. Just as promised. Oh, okay, I feel. Paimon. I'm so glad that you two came back to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Looks like we made back in time. Indeed. The festival's tomorrow. Oh, We've perfect. We've been preparing for so long that I can't help but feel a little nervous. Um, did you manage to make your way to Port Ormos? We did. Discover and kind of, kind of, I guess. I, we probably can't tell you some of it, but. Of course we went. A lot of things happened there. Yeah, we're left only with more <sighs> questions. See. Sounds like you two had another exciting adventure. Don't say it like that. I wish I could take you with us to go on adventures, but I don't think we can. If there is another chance, I would love to yes, join. Yes, for sure. Join us anytime if you could. <sighs> My lady, but don't push if yourself. If you went to Port Ormos in your current state, we'd both be in for a lifetime of trouble. She just wants to adventure. Come on. You can come with us too. Mm. The festival's tomorrow. I've been doing nothing but causing trouble for you. So Dia, please take some time to relax. I'll be fine. <laughs> okay, hopefully. Even when you put it that way, it still doesn't feel right. Don't worry, my guardian knight. Oh, that's wait, that's so cute. Okay, that's a cute fine, name. Fine, but only tonight. Paimon did that on purpose. I've already prepared a room for you to rest. Oh wow. Please follow me. You are so generous. Oh, you're so thoughtful. Yeah. I'm so ready. It's also fairly close to where I've been staying. Oh, we appreciate it. Really nice. Sorry for the trouble. <laughs> Not at all. It, just tell me more about your adventures when you next get the chance. Oh my gosh, I'll tell you. Yes, yes. I'll tell you about all our adventures. Oh. That's Paimon's specialty. Paimon can tell you stories next time. About our plans for oh, tomorrow. if you don't mind, how about we all walk around together tomorrow? Sounds good. All of my friends will be working the festival. And Dia is still insisting on her covert protection. <laughs> okay, we can walk around. Yeah. It'll be pretty hard to relax and enjoy the festival if Dia's constantly hovering over you, right? <laughs> I'll come Then let's tomorrow. meet at the nearby bazaar first thing tomorrow morning. 
Have a great night. You too. It's a deal. Good night, Dunyar Zod. I may be too excited to fall asleep tonight. See you tomorrow. See ya. Over sleep? Hopefully not. We should go meet Dunyar Zod right away. Not at all. I arrived early. Oh, okay. <sighs> Today is finally here. I must cherish every moment as if it were gold. Oh, I hope. I, I will be so upset if someone ruins the festival. You've worked so hard for this day. You gotta enjoy it to the fullest. Yep. <laughs> you know it. Oh, it's just that, um, as expected, I had some trouble falling asleep last night. Um, Many vendors okay. came out of the blue to support the event, and they insisted on covering costs themselves. Let's go give them some business. Sounds they good. Paid for everything out of pocket? Oh, sounds like they're not in this just for the Mora. <laughs> they all said that contributing to oh, a lively so. festival atmosphere is more important than money. Especially since we don't often get to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Ooh, they're selling food over that way! Let's go take a look! Of course you would spot the food first, Pyro. This is a stall offering foods from the Haft Mewa feast. Oh, you could tell straight away. I thought most people nowadays wouldn't know. <laughs> Mushrooms, flowers, and all kind of fruit? It's all vegetarian stuff. Oh, Paimon's a little Shut up, Paimon. Jesus. So, what's the Haft Mewa feast you mentioned just now? It's another sub festival tradition. People used to set their tables with seven different foods. Hmm... Ah, okay, that's Generally interesting. speaking, the most common selections were foods like Rukushafa mushrooms, lunar lotuses, Sumero roses, sunsetias, kapulatas, hara fruits, and zaytun peaches. Mm. So, the sub festival is a vegetarian holiday? Is that a problem, Paimon? Vegetarian food is good. <laughs> you don't have to be a vegetarian to enjoy the spread. We just use the seven foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archon. Interesting. Wait, but if that's the case, if Sumero uses vegetarian food to represent the Dendro Archon, then wouldn't the Pyro Archon's festival be full of food like roasted fowl, juicy meatballs, grilled steak? Don't oh, ask, Paimon. We have to go to Natlon as soon as possible. Is Natlon the next um area after Sumeru? I think so. Maybe. <laughs> I hope your wish comes true one day, Paimon. Thanks. All right. But we also check out some of these other I'm so rude. We're celebrating a particular festival and they're already like she's already thinking about another festival right in front of Dunar Zod. That's so rude. Those two things sound like they'd be fun to try together. <laughs> right? Uh, I thought the same when I first heard about it. It is said to be a mysterious craft invented by none other than Lesser Lord Kusanali herself. Oh. So, how does it work? It's quite simple. After you give me any two alchemical reagents, I'll use them to perform a random transmutation. Sure sounds random. So random that it will probably fail. That is precisely what we need. After the transmutation fails, your one and only diviner here will interpret the remnants. <laughs> this is entirely what right Well, doing. according to Lesser Lord Kusanali, everything is interconnected. And all that occurs can be traced back to fate. You can say this is a pearl of old wisdom. Why does everything sound so much more credible when Dunyarzad says it? Are you guys working together? <laughs> so that's the true wisdom behind it. This young lady sure knows her stuff. So, how about it? Want to give it a try? I right, give it a go. Um, I wonder how much does it change? Let's do a star shroom. Oh, I didn't press it. Starshroom and let's do a whole crystal. Yeah. Okay, one moment. Hmm. It's the moon. The moon? Kaima wants to take a look too. Uh, is it? It looks more like a pie that Paima bit into. You, you, oh my gosh, Hmm. Generally speaking, the moon signifies. It means. Uh, wait a moment. 
Is he really looking it up in a book? Maybe it's his first time seeing this. Oh, I remember now. It means illusions and lies. Illusions and lies? That sounds rather ominous. Okay, that doesn't sound good. That sounds like something bad is going to happen soon. Yes, but this book says that if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. Okay. He's not even trying to hide his book anymore. Well, he has a hard time remembering Paimon. Naturally, fate will only ever show you the beginning of a journey. It is up to you to forge your own ending. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> He's trying his best. I appreciate this it. This was still pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next stall. What stall is this? Yeah! Oh my gosh. That was so loud. Attention! Soldiers, fall into formation if you want any Yalda candies. <laughs> it's a weird guy with a weird hat! Paimon, you are so culturally insensitive. Like, imagine that. Oh my gosh, you just need to... Paimon just needs to be quiet. <laughs> Miss Dunyarzad, the children love you even more than the Yalda candies. In the few short days it took to prepare for the Sabzeru's festival, the children have all grown very fond of you. Aww, that's so cute. Uh, um, the hallowed night of flowers. It's an honor that you know my name. <clears throat> Attention! In the name of Ferris, the night of flowers, I commend you on your contributions to the glorious <laughs> Sabzeru's festival. All right, little soldiers. Take your Yalda candies and Can don't have forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Yes, Knight Ferris! Uh, just what is going on here? <laughs> Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is another sub festival icon, and one immensely popular with children. In the past, the actor portraying Ferris would also sit on a flower carriage. Mm. It's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can make such wonderful memories today. Aww. As are we to you, Vihar. Oh, <laughs> not at all. Oh, speaking of tradition, do yes. you want some Yalta candies? Yes, They're yes, a please. festival staple, and I happen to have some boxes ready here. Take a look and pick whichever one you want. I want that one. Whichever one? Um, don't these boxes all look the same? Just pick one, Paimon. Why does it matter? <laughs> that is the fun part. Each box contains a random flavor. Ooh. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, hara fruit, sunsetia. Ooh, those all sound pretty good. And there's also lizard tail and oni kabuto. Oh. Huh? What's up with those two flavors? Oni kabuto is a little spicier than lizard tail. Ooh, we get some spicy candy. Dunyarzad, you, you tried them before? Hmm. Traveler, help Paimon pick one. Paimon wants the sunsetia flavor. It's all right. Paimon believes in you. I, I hope we get lizard tails. Great. These boxes of I candy are one. numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? I want the blue one. I kind of want to go with three, but mm, I'm in between two or three. Mm. There you go. Oh no, let's give it- oh, that's the wrong three. Um... Two? Which one's two? Oh, that one's one? You know what? I take it back, let's go with one. Attention! That's unfortunately <laughs> Lizard Tail. Oh, we'll take it. I never thought you survived so many epic battles because you had incredible luck! But looks like Paimon was wrong. What do you mean? It's gonna taste good. The I don't know what you're talking. flavored candy was in box number four. How about this? The most important thing is that everyone has a good time at the festival. So please take both boxes. Oh, okay. Really? Thanks a lot, Knight of Candies. It's Knight of Flowers, not Knight of Candies. <laughs> Paimon really wilted the carriageless Knight of Flowers. <laughs> They'll be 
basically sound the same. We got our candy, so let's keep going. Cash power, you're so oh, uh, rude. Actually, I just remembered that I left something behind. Um, since you're here, can you come with me to get it? No problem. Dinarzad, you probably forgot because you're so excited about the Sub Zero's festival. <laughs> We're too late. Who knew the little lady was such an early riser? Ah, uh, she. I figured. I know, right? Hey, wait a minute. Puss! Isn't that her? What the oh, fuck? That most certainly is. We're in luck. She's walking right into our clutches. Who are you guys? Those Aramites don't look like they're up to any good. Who are you? I don't believe the Homayanis hired you. <laughs> That's right. We haven't received any of their mora, but I wonder how much the Homayanis would shell out to get you uh, back. I don't think so. They're a gang of kidnappers! Traveler, hurry and protect Dunyarzad! Professional hey, here. Did you scumbags even consider that the Homayanis might have hired a merc that outclasses you? Ooh. Your Dia. Dia the Flame Mane. Just some friendly banter between mercs. One punch and those rabbit dogs will expose themselves for what they really are. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't your claws all dull by now? No, we're gonna stay and help. There's too many of them. Yeah. Mm, you're right. All right, fine. Please be careful, Dia. Yeah, be careful, Dia. Don't waste your time worrying about me. This is my job. Look out for yourself. After oh my gosh, she's she's so attractive. <laughs> Let's use Zhongli, he has longer legs. <coughs> oh, are you okay? Dunyarzad, are you okay? You look a little pale. Are you in shock? I think she, she can't run, Paimon. What do you mean? I, uh, Let's take a rest. I'm fine. My body always reacts like this whenever I exert myself too much. You sure you're okay? I'll be fine after some rest. I'm more worried about Dia. After all, none of this would have happened if I hadn't insisted on coming out today. Don't worry, she's yeah. tough. Don't worry. Are you okay? Dia! You took care of them so fast! Any more of them? Or rather, did anyone follow you? Nope. Dia, your arm... Oh, this? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Normally, they wouldn't have been able to land a hit on me at all, but I'm still getting used to this new greatsword. Oh my gosh, she's Claymore! Please, let me take a closer look. Come on, it's nothing. Us mercs aren't as she fragile better be as you think. Hold on, you said something about a new greatsword? Uh, what happened to the one you were using before? Uh, about that. Well, I sold it because I was low on Mora. Stuff like this happens every now and then. Oh. It can't be. The anonymous donation that was used for the venue's final round of preparations? <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. Uh, hey, I'll have to reevaluate your performance. <laughs> You're oh. so unreasonable, my lady. This is so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> this is so adorable. Thank you very much, Dia. <sighs> Don't be like that. I get embarrassed really easily. <laughs> <laughs> Are you feeling unwell again, Dunyarzad? My lady, your condition. Traveler, can you take Leave her somewhere to, to rest? Don't worry. I'll look around the area to make sure we're safe from an ambush. Truly. I'm sorry for the trouble, everyone. No, it's no trouble at all. Are you feeling better, Dunyarzad? Yes, much better. Just give me a few moments and I'll be good to go. Take your time. I didn't realize you were concerned about it. I guess I shouldn't are. continue to keep it a secret. I was actually born with Elazar. Elazar, I was right. Can't believe it's Elazar. Oh, uh, you've already heard of Elazar. Or one In of that case, friends. you probably know about its severity. Yeah. Sumero's current medical advancements still haven't been able to find a cure. The disease's progression can only be delayed through environmental therapy. Dunyarzad. Oh. There's no need to be sad. 
I've always lived with Elazar and I came to terms with it a long time ago. Compared to the simple fact that I'm afflicted with this, its effects on my life have been much more painful. I know that my family loves me dearly. They've done all they can to provide the best environment for me oh. so that I can live for that much longer. However, I know I will one day succumb to this. Did you know? Before I ran away from home this time, the world outside of my home didn't even know that I existed. That's... Oh my gosh, I'm gonna Since start crying, child, stop. All I could do was sit on my bed and stare at everything outside of my window. I'm sure my family's worried and disappointed in me for running away, but no. I... I just didn't want to have any regrets. I wanted to meet other people. To me, there's nothing more beautiful than being able to meet and speak with others. Not to mention the incredible time spent preparing for the festival. The joy on everyone's faces here. And all the support I've received from friends like Dia. This way, when my final day does arrive, he'll be oh, less Oh no, sorrowful. stop, stop, stop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, I'm tearing up. I, I'm trying not to. At the very least, many people will remember that I once existed in this world. Right? Yes, I'll remember you. As long as you don't forget Paimon, Paimon also won't forget about you. Uh, no, even if you forget Paimon, Paimon will still remember you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, thank you two so much. Oh my god. I apologize for the depressing no. conversation. This is, this is You have to talk about these things sometimes. It, it helps to relieve you know, some stress and, and kind of know that people are there for you. To be honest, Lesser Lord Kusanali gave me the courage to do all of this. If it weren't for her encouragement, I wouldn't have taken that first step. And you're already so strong for never Thanks. giving up. There will always be frustrations in life, but I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. What a wonderful moment. Oh, right! Isn't it almost time? Mm-hmm. Huh? Almost time for what? Isn't the dance of sub about to begin? It's the part of the festival that I've been looking forward to the most. Nilu will recreate that legendary scene with her most splendid dancing. We have to go and see the it. The Zeros Festival will conclude amid everyone's applause and blessings. And with that, my wish will also. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go to the stage. Yeah, we should still make it in time. Yay! Okay, we'll watch Nilu's dance, and this will be the last thing for for the video. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Let's go see Nilu's dance. I'm very excited. Were you not aware that the law prohibits this type of performance from taking place without prior permission? Shut up, leave. Over there! Someone's yelling at Nilu! Do it anyways, I dance anyways. I think I just saw the Academia's Grand Sage. Why is he here in person? But the dance of sub is one of the key parts of the sub Festival. If we can't perform it... The sub Festival? The law also prohibits the private hosting of large-scale religious festivals. Why? Only the academia can host such an event. Why is that? Tell me. If you continue to resist, we will have to order an investigation into every single event organizer. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How- This is so stupid. How did things turn out like this? The academia was originally responsible for the sub Festival. But they failed this responsibility for many years. I need to speak with them. Don't go. This is a hard pill to swallow, but you're right. Things would only get worse. Art, dance. Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities Shut in this up. land of knowledge and reason? Dance is a way of sharing knowledge. You are sharing literal history right now. They are. They are doing a better job than you. In fact, our what? Archon created the utopia that is Sumeru is City for all scholars shut who up, sought up, validity, verity, and truth, while people like you wish to defile it. Well, you're too tiny brain to understand that art is a form of history and knowledge. Literally, art shows history all the time, which is a form of knowledge. No! I believe that our Archon never rejected the arts. Yeah. Even the Goddess of Flowers dedicated a dance to her. With your lack of intellectual credentials, Shut I do up. not believe you are qualified to debate with me. 
What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. Why when don't we, return, we say anything? Have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. We will announce it to the public later via the Akasha. You wonder why no one likes Understood. you guys. I will inform him when I return. Hmm. The Sub-Zeru's Festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Nilu, are you okay? We should have just intervened. Oh, like it's not like they could do anything I... to us. We're Outlander. You all saw that just now. Yeah. The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. Do it anyways. Yeah. Let's go somewhere the Academia can't find us and perform there. Ah, uh, but how do we let everyone know? And what about the atmosphere and the stage? Let's take a few of the like flowers with or us and stuff. We can set up we something. We could get people to block them off so they can't interrupt the performance. Ah, uh, Milu, it's all right. Don't worry about it. But you've been looking forward to the dance of Sub Zero so much. And I know how important this festival is to you. Oh, she's so sweet. I don't want you to have any regrets. It's okay. Seeing you care this much about my feelings is more than enough. It would be too risky to continue the sub -Zeros festival at this point. I don't want to get everyone in trouble. This is frustrating. If you say so. But you can sneak out for the next sub -Zeros festival, right? We'll make sure the next one is a smashing success. We all know that it might not ha We have to beat the academia. The next one. Yes. Okay. It's a promise. Does she not think she'll survive success. for the next one? Why did she say it like that? I can't believe this is how things turned out. Those heartless geezers. Is there anything it else really we can do? It really is okay. There's nothing we can do about it. <sighs> Still. I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Nilo's dance. Oh, This just makes me sad. We're gonna end on a sad note? I was so excited for it. Don't make me end on a sad note. <sighs> a lot happened today. It's a shame the festival ended the way it did. Yeah. Nilo and Dunyarzad promised to make the next of Zero's festival a success. Dunyarzad is running out of time! Mm, yeah. yeah. Huh. What? All connections have been secured to construct the most stable framework possible. The project is entered its most critical phase. Power has begun to flow from... Huh? What just happened? Wait, what? Wait. We should go meet Dunyarzad right away! What? Wait, 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 what? Okay, that's interesting. I'm not gonna continue this, actually. We're gonna do Every this in the next episode, Shogly. <laughs> I think we, we got time loop somehow? Maybe because of the lesser Lord Kusanali knew what we were doing and she rewinded everything. Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. Who knows? We'll find out next episode. But this is very interesting and I'm very excited to continue this. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, that is it for this episode. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. Again, please, please, please subscribe if you haven't yet. It does really help me out. Um... That is it. Have a lovely day, night, or whatever time it is for you. And bye!